Hey y'all, what's up? Just recently picked up this brand new to me um, Hammerhead Bull Shark Kayak. Uh, haven't really got much of a chance to use this thing yet. I ran it, you know, around in the pond a couple times. But um, I just want to give you guys a quick walk through, um, you know, first impressions. And then after I've been using it for a couple months, you know, two, four, six months or whatever, I'll do a uh, more in-depth review and breakdown of how everything works. But let's just take a look at all the features this kayak has. So we've got, um, size-wise, this is a, a you know, pretty standard fishing kayak size, I think just under 13 feet long, 34 inches wide, weight, it's, um, you know, uh, upper 70s, 80 pounds, pretty, whole construction's really, really solid. I mean, pretty much on par with just about everybody else. The material feels a little bit lighter, um, at least the coating. It's just kind of got the standard plastic coating instead of the whole, um, you know what Hobie does with their roto mold and stuff but it's pretty it's a pretty solid um kayak at least that's how it feels it does look like it's um kind of like got a seam molded in there i don't know but it, it, it's pretty solid um up here in the front you've got molded in handles or not molded these are just the screw on handles doesn't have molded in handles that's something i don't love um but you've got just your standard um little like tie handle there and these these, are, these feel pretty cheap but i mean they hold up not as nice as a molded handle is but it works you do have these two on the sides which you know aren't not exactly the molded in but it does have the cutouts and they're bolted these are really solid and the back handle just like the front here um so moving back up to the front got this little hatch up here just got these two little things that pull up it's hinged on the front not real big um you know that's my hand inside of it now i've got really big hands but um still you've got some room there there's a drain plug uh that runs straight out into the bottom here so you could even put um you know some ice or whatever you know this runs straight out it's a scupper hole um or you can keep it plugged and you know have it as a dry box or whatever there's no seals on it or anything but it does have a pretty big lip so i don't know We'll see how that works. I was a little concerning not having any seals. I think Michael had some water in here, which isn't that big of a deal because it's just a little hatch like this, but something worth looking at. Right here, a mounting plate with some screw holes for um, you know, any electronics or anything. Kind of a foam decking on the sides here. In case you want to stand. Accessory rails, both sides. This is one of the really cool things about this kayak is this drive mounting um, point here, this pod. This whole section um, you know, I have one configured for the Hobie style fin drives, like the Mirage drives, but this actually, you can take out this whole unit, this whole pod, um, it's just these little knobs here, take all six of them out, pop it out, and you can actually put a, um, you know, prop drive in here. He sells them both. Um, they sell them both hammerhead kayaks. So that's, that's kind of cool. Um, it drops in, you've just got, it doesn't have the click and latch like the Hobie does, but it does, um, have a pretty drop it in pretty easily and just rotate that so not a big thing it's recessed pretty far down so you don't have to worry about a lot of water splashing in right back here um we've got the seat tracks the seat is on a track this sits pretty low um they do make seat risers that go on these tracks which i'm going to be picking up some of those tomorrow just to um you know lift the seat up another four inches or whatever it is but um right because right now it's pretty much flush with the um deck or that no the sides so some people like that low i like to be able to sitting up a little bit more but um seat wise you know mo like most of your standard um kayaks in this range is kind of aluminum frame mesh seat which um with the backs you know connected with the straps here and stuff they're always surprisingly comfortable honestly i've seen somebody like my feel free seat that's all they got their fancy gravity seat and all that honestly these are just as good they're pretty comfortable after a while in the water if you stick a uh you know cushion or something down there especially you got cup holders in the sides or kind of like a tray here with jets to let the water run off and then cup holder on the um, right side behind it because instead of that you've got your rudder control back there on the left side rod holders on the front there this little hatch right in front of the seat lets you open up it's either hole access or you got this waterproof bag that goes in there so you got waterproof access or just a waterproof storage or a hole access underneath there if you need anything. Um, you know, moving on back, another second accessory rail running right behind the seat. Um, rod holders, both sides. Little tank wall area with a bungee. Not real sure what this plate here is for. I'm guessing 
maybe for some kind of motor mounting trolling motor I, I don't have a clue i'm gonna have to figure out what that is and then um you know beaver tail style rudder which we'll see how this thing holds up and operates right now it's a little bit sticky but that might be me just not knowing how to use it well like it doesn't like to pull up or down um with this little rope control but um you know you got your paddle bungees a little molded area bungee on the side um yeah so i think that's about it i'll probably show you all the whole design you know, your rudder controls here it seems to turn pretty well it's in a good position um that little lever but shoot underneath it's got kind of like a you know a little bit of a cat hole pretty much pre pretty standard um design works pretty nice it does have a um uh transducer pod and covering down here so you don't have to worry about that um for mounting the electronics but you get to that under the seat here i pop these things out it's right under the seat just a little plug so yeah that runs straight to that underside area so line that seat back in pop it back in and uh yeah i think that's about it i'm gonna show you the drive but it's pretty much standard um you know you can choose the fin or pedal drive option for the same price and it's pretty much an exact copy of the uh old hobie uh mirage drives before they upgraded to um you know the kick up fins and um 180 drives so um you know if you've had any of the older hobies not not their original fin drive but that second gen this is it's, a, it's exactly the same component wise and everything just i guess just not labeled I, I don't know their patent expired on that i think is why they're able to do this but anyways um you know it seems to be a really well pr pretty well made kayak especially for the price these things um you know i bought it used for 800 dollars um new they're originally this this model is a couple years old now but um they're originally i think 1200 now he's um, done some upgrades to the seat and a couple other things i think they're like 16 now which you know the price of everything shot up so definitely a um seems to be a pretty well uh made kayak for the price so get out and um you know test it some and see how these different um, functions and features hold up once you get it on the water but um yeah hope that video was helpful thanks for um checking this video out and you know really appreciate it if you help me out by hitting those like and subscribe buttons i'm gonna be doing a lot more of this style um content stuff to do with the kayaks you know reviewing them i got some how-to videos on installing different parts and uh, you know some cool ways to bring up electronics and all that stuff so yeah like i said thank you for watching really appreciate it and uh be sure to check out the channel again like subscribe thanks